Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to MB Tech Talker. My name's Matt. In this video, I'm going to show you how I set up automatic user certificate enrollment in Active Directory using group policy within Windows Server 2016. Once configured, you'll be able to use the issued user certificate to grant access to resources like the network or applications. So if you haven't seen my how to install Microsoft Certificate Services video, make sure you watch that first as it shows you how to configure a root certificate authority and is a prerequisite to this video. In this video, I'm going to be using my Lab Windows 2016 Active Directory server with Certificate Services installed, acting as the root certificate authority for the domain. This configuration is identical in Windows Server 2019. I will also be using a Windows 10 client machine to test the computer's certificate auto-enrollment. On both machines, I will be logged in with a domain administrator account. Okay, so let's get going with the lab. I'm already logged into the Windows 2016 server. If we go up to Tools and then go to Active Direct Users and Computers, if we expand the local domain, which is the MB Tech local domain. And as you can see, I've already created a security team OU which contains two additional OUs, a computer accounts OU and a user accounts OU. In this lab, I'll be concentrating on the SEC admin user accounts. The plan here is to apply a group policy to these specific users in the OU instead of the whole domain. If I click on the user OU, you can see we have SEC admin one and SEC admin two. Both these users are a member of the SEC admin group. So these users will be issued with a user certificate via the automatic user certificate enrollment. So if we open up SEC admin one, um, just something to point out that under the general tab, I have defined an email address. This isn't being used. I don't have email running in the lab, but this, um, this is important to uh, make sure this field is populated. Otherwise, you could get a uh, failed certificate request. So I just advise adding an email in there. Essentially, there are four parts to this video. Part one, I just walked you through where I had created the OU, the security group, defined the users, added the users to the security group, talked about the email address. Part two, will be the creation of a new user certificate by duplicating an existing user certificate template. Part three will all be all about creating and linking the GPO to the OU. And then part four will be to verify that the users receive the issued certificate via the auto enrollment. Let's move on to the next step. So what we need to do is go to tools and then we want to go to certification authority. This is where we're going to create a new user certificate by duplicating the existing user template certificate. So let's maximize this, expand it root CA and then highlight certificate templates, right click and manage. This is all the predefined templates within the CA. We're interested in the user template, so we're going to highlight it, right click and duplicate the templates. I'm going to go to the general tab and I'm going to give this a name. So sec admin users. And then what I'm going to do is go to the cryptography tab and I'm going to increase the minimum key size to 4096. I know this is a lab, but this is just a habit for me. So Next, we're gonna to go to the security tab and then domain users. We're gonna remove the enroll permission. We'll allow them to read it. And then we're going to add the sec admin object. So if we search for that sec admin, so this is the sec admin group and then click okay. And we're gonna allow them to uh, make sure it's read enroll oh let's click OK there read enroll and auto enroll make sure those are all ticked and then gonna click apply and then OK 
Now let's issue the certificate to the certificate authority so the CA can distribute it to the users in the SEC admin group. To do this, we will just minimize that screen and then we're going to go to highlight certificate templates and then we're going to click new certificate template to issue. And then we need to find the certificate which is called SEC admin users and then click OK. Okay, so let's move on to step three. Let's create and link the GPO to the SEC admin OU. Let's minimize that screen. And then in the server management dashboard, we go to tools and then we're looking for group policy management. Let's expand the forest and the domain and the group policy objects. And let's highlight the group policy objects, right click and new. Let's give it a name. So I'm going to call it SEC Admins Users Certificate Auto Enrollment GPO and then click OK. So now we select that policy and we're going to right click click and edit. And then what we're going to do here is just make the screen a bit bigger and expand this out so we can see what's going on. And then this configuration is under user. So expand the policies and then Windows settings security settings and then we're looking for public key policies and if we actually click on that and what we're interested in here is certificate services client auto enrollment so if we open that up as you can see the configuration model is not configured so we need to make sure we innate it's enabled uh, and then we're going to renew expired certificates and update certificates. And then we're going to apply. And then OK. And then we can close that console. Next, we need to add the new GPO to the SEC admin user, user account. So let's select the OU and expand it. And then let's go to the SEC admin user accounts and then right click and then link to an existing GPO. And now what we're looking for is the SEC admin user certificate auto enrollment GPO and then click OK. So that has now been successfully linked to the OU. OK, so now it's time to log into the Windows 10 client. And now we can see if the auto enrollment has been successful and a certificate has been issued to the user. So what we're going to do is open up an MMC console. And we're going to add a new snap in and we're going to select certificates. Click add. And we're just going to do it for the user accounts. Click finish and OK. And if we expand the certificate folders, and then we're looking at personal certificates and we can see we've got a certificate folder, which is a, a good sign. So if we click on that, we can see a certificate has been issued to SEC admin um, successfully and it was issued by the CA and it's got an expiration date of 2022 and it's the intended purposes for client authentication. And what else I wanted to show, show you was if we go back to the Windows 2016 server and then we go to the issued certificates, um, we can see that we've got these two new certificates been issued by the CA, 34 and 35. One to the SEC admin one user and the other one to the SEC admin two. And um, it was issued um, to the security team OU and to the SEC admin user accounts. And then finally, if we go on certificate templates and we manage, and then we look at the template that we created. So if we look for the SEC admin and we highlight it and then go to properties, if we take a look at the subject name tab. You can see here it says, um, subject name format fully distinguished name include email name in subject name and include this information in the alternate subject name and you and this is what i was talking about earlier that because this is ticked this is why you need to make sure that in your user account you've got an email address defined um, if you didn't want to do that then obviously this is exactly where you 
you you untick this and that will not show up and you will not get any failed requests so this is the whole purpose of duplicating the predefined templates this gives us all these extra parameters and settings and configuration so that we can finally tune the certificate to the way we want it so yeah that's it then that's everything i wanted to um, demonstrate um, i hope this is uh, been useful and uh, i'll see you in the next video okay guys that's it for today's video thanks for watching over the next coming weeks i will be uploading more videos where i will be sharing more content about palo alto firewall features and technologies and how to configure them if you like this video i'm sure you know what to do by now but just in case you don't please hit that like button below and share with your friends and be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell to get notified every single time I post a new video. If you have any ideas of video content you want me to create, please put them in the comments below as I would love to hear your feedback on any aspect of my channel. Please keep watching and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.